Okay, welcome back to StarMade, and as you can see, we are at the the home base. A few turrets up here, they don't seem to work very well, but we've got them. Right, so in here we've started producing a few things. The shield core, the power generator, the antimatter cannon, and the thrusters. Okay, so it's pretty simple what we've done. Uh, this one here is the chain that's creating the shields. Now, I wanted to do it all as one run, but it just seems to be much more reliable and doesn't make the wrong stuff if you don't connect it all up. <laughs> so into this, we, we, I'll just explain the setup quickly. That's a Schemadyne, I think it's a Schemadyne 2000, let's just find out. No, there you go, it's a Schemadyne. I found out as well, by the way, if you hit C over something you don't know what it is, and then look at something else, it'll say... Press V to disconnect this block to the Schemadyne 1000. So even though there are no tooltips, you can you can get them by C and then highlighting something else. Okay, so yeah, so you've got a Schemadyne 1000. There's only three patterns for the Schemadyne 1000, um, and that's basically what I wanted to use, to do on, on this. So I've put a chest here because we've got no signs and I can put one of the two component requirements so an SD1000 microprocessor and an SD proton reactor those two go together into the input and then that you know pushes out shield dispersers okay so that's how you make your shields now you're probably saying well, well that's all well and good but where the hell do I get an SD1000 microprocessor and an SD proton reactor the answer is you get it from ore. So into this one I'm putting Insanium and into this one I'm putting Succumite. Now all I'm doing here is going input, uh, material, uh, mineral separator, particle press. So then in the particle press end you get the proton reactors. Okay. And the same is happening here except with succumite so it's two exactly the same you go you put the particle press down then you put the mineral pr uh, the mineral separator down then you put the input down now you don't even really need the input I don't think I think you can just chuck stuff straight in here but well we've got it anyway because that's what it says to do um, as you can see it's still breaking down succumite because I think we had an L5 in there um, so now I'll take those 1,000 cores and 1,500 microprocessors and I'll stick them in here and you'll see that it will start churning away. Wait for it, wait for it, there you go, it starts to tick up. So it's not really fast but you know, <coughs> it's free stuff so you don't expect it to be that fast. Right. So, that is the thruster, no, sorry, the shield. That's the shield factory unit. Now, over here we've got uh, some antimatter cannons and thrusters being built. Again, C and highlight. Schemadyne 1000s, right? So, we've got an input feeding a Schemadyne 1000, and an input feeding a Schemadyne 1000. So, in the chest, I'll be able to show you what goes in them. An SD1000 memory module and an SD1000 flux coil, they go together to make the thrusters. Pretty straightforward, you know? Um, for the antimatter cannons, you've got a similar deal going on. Okay? It's the SD1000 capacitor and the SD1000 delta interface. And again, you're asking me, well, how do I make those things? Well, because I mean, we found a lot of it from straight loot. We didn't have to make it, so I just literally collected it up, put it in here, and mo every now and then I'll shift what's in there to in here, and then we'll have a bunch of cannons. Okay, so this is actually a chain, much like in the last room where I had two set up to make the um, components for the final tier. Uh, we've got a similar thing here only I got two <laughs> I got two types so let me just find this you've got the ST1000 memory module and the ST1000 flux coil 
So let's see what this is doing. This is making SD1000 flux coil, and this is making the SD1000 memory module. Although it's got some delta interfaces in, I'm not really sure why that is. Anyway, so Quantaside is used for this, and again, all we're doing is going uh, input mm, mineral separator particle press. Input mineral separator particle press and like I say it doesn't matter if there's a gap or not just make sure you link them and you link them as always C V so you link from the last item back to the input okay right so uh, yeah so this is making uh, this is breaking contact quantanium down and this one is breaking quantaside down and the two end up creating the flux coil and the memory modules, both SD1000, and they go together. SD1000 memory and SD1000 flux coil. They go together to make the thrusters. So that means I've still got to make a production chain to set to create capacitors and delta interfaces. I probably will do it in here actually. In fact, yeah, let's just go through one and then you can see the process. It's really easy to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um I'm going to guess it's a particle press. So I'll have to look up the recipe in just a second, but um what I'm going to do is put down plex storage for putting in my amounts. So I know what I need to get. And I'm going to put a factory input down. And I'm going to guess I need a mineral separator right now. Um, I'm probably going to end up needing two of these, aren't I? Let's see. Yeah, we've got two items to make. So let's think about this. Oh, no, no. Let's run over there. Okay. And then finally, the particle press. There we go. Well, put it close. Uh, lighting's not so bad. So, C. Oh, wait. Wrong way. C, V, C, V. So now they're hooked up. All right. Now. Let's make another one over here quickly. So I'll put the storage down there, and the input next to it, and the mineral separator next to that, and the particle press next to that. So that shows you you don't need. Do do do. Put them all close together. Don't have to have them separated. It just looks kind of cool to have all the pipes out. Right, so now what we're going to need to do is create or find the recipe for SD1000 capacitor and the SD1000 delta interface. So, two seconds while I go and work that out. Okay guys, so I figured that one out. Um, you need exogen for the capacitor and you need vapicide for the delta. So I've set it up right, that's perfect. All I need to do is collect some ores and luckily, because this is quite a regular thing now, we've been uh, putting all our ores here for, you know... So, what I need is exogen, and I swear I keep these at ah, vapicide. Wow, look at that, 764 level 5. That's nearly a billion. See? Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, I hope they adjust the, the worth, because <laughs> it's too easy to get rich. Right, exogen, exogen, exogen. See, it wouldn't be bad if everything was really scarce, because if everything was scarce, then people would have to pay through the nose for things, and it wouldn't matter that, that you have lots of money so much. So, what have we got? Metate, Insanium, Negate, Vapicide, level 3. We've already got that. I'm looking for Exogen. It's always Exogen. Uh, I've got loads of everything, except Exogen. Exogen, oh great, I got 40. The other one's got like millions. Um, another L1. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Exogen. There's no point looking at the texture either. It looks nice, but there's no point looking at it because they change colour as well. Like if I went to find an awesomeite. Different L's, different colours, and uh, unless you're like right, right in front of it, you can't really read it. Extranium, I've got loads of extranium on me. 
extranium everywhere. Extranium, extranium. That's not what I want. I don't want extranium. Got vaporside. I got oxygen. Fifty. I got metate. Oh man, this is the bit that sucks. I'm trying to find. I swear I've pretty much ah L2. Okay, that's better than nothing. That looks like it, so I just drop this oxygen off and cinnamite, which I don't need anymore. Quantanium, quantigen, oxygen, exogen, and vaporcite. That's all I need. Right, okay, off we go. So we're going to put vaporcite in one. Probably going to put the vaporcite in here. So, as always, um, I like to put one tier one in the chest so that people know because there's no signs yet so that enables people a way to figure out what's going on here so let's see level three come on level two break it down there we go one take one and put it in the chest it's like a form of signposting because then people just they know put vaporside in here and if i leave one in the other end too yeah then they'll know this is what this is you know, that's what this is making. Could put another chest at the other end, but it just seems a little excessive. Right. So that is now producing our SD1000 Delta interfaces. So as you can see, that's what we want. So I'll just throw that in there. Okay, and now let's have a look at... Hang on. Ah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just selected a different one. So mineral. Yeah, factory input. Okay. Just double checking I put that in the right order. Right. Now uh the exogen. So we're just gonna chuck the exogen in here. Again I'm gonna take one and put it in the chest. Right. So now that's happy. That's gonna be chugging away with the L1 so yep we've already made a couple alright and then put it in here so to be honest I mean once you it's, it's hard to get your head around this but actually it's pretty straightforward and it does exactly what it says you know it's gonna do so all of this section here yeah this is creating thrusters so this breaks the ore down and presses it into components which this then finishes and then on this side we've got exactly the same setup but with different ore creating different components which then get pressed into a different final product so that's pretty straightforward I mean these are easy peasy and let's say you know if you want to be building ships you're going to be needing cannons thrusters and shields Okay, so the next room that I've worked on is this one. And this one creates your power generators for you. This is actually quite nice because it's sort of it's sort of one piece, I guess. Um it does so this is why I'm quite annoyed because I could create these this style for these two lines. It you know, all you need to do is take one of these, put it here, and link them up. But what I've found is that if, say, half of the chain runs dry, the other half of the chain will only deliver one component to the final press. And if there's a recipe to make that product into something else, it will. And that will then mess up your chain, because then when you go and fill this up again, all of these materials have been used to make the wrong product. And obviously, once you've done it, you've done it. So I think a recycler would probably be a great idea. I think there might actually be a recycler in the game, but I haven't figured out how to make one slash use it yet. So anyway, let's have a look at this generator. So again, I've just used the same basic layout, which is uh, plex storage, mineral input, m mineral, oh, sorry, factory input, mineral separator, uh, particle press, and let's find out which one this is. That is a Schemadyne 2000, okay? It says just there, so that's a Schemadyne 2000. Now, 
again, pretty straightforward. Um, this has got exogen in it, which is being broken down to L1, and then pressed uh, into delta interfaces and the other one is extranium. So yeah, you need you need exogen and extranium. This one, yeah. yeah, we're nearly out of extranium. Okay. And like I say, you just set it up like that. All you do is you uh, you put so schemadine two thousand particle presses mineral separators, factory input, and then a chest. And then, remember, hook them up from the back. So this is how you would hook it up, guys. You go C, and then V, and V. Okay? It's deselecting them because I've already got them set up. And then you go C on the next one, and V. See that? And it's C, V. Right? And then go to the next section, C, V. C, V. V. Obviously, I'm pushing it twice because it's already connected, so I've disconnected and reconnected it. Okay. This, is, this seems a lot harder than it really is. Hey, look at that. The pirates are out there again. Where are they? Trying to shoot me, but anyway. Now, I think these are experiments. I don't know if these actually work. I don't think these work. Tall shroom. No, that doesn't work. Is that making rein? Ah, oh, that's making reinforced hull. So that does work, but it's a bit weird. Okay, you put hull, protein 4000 A, uh, so 40,000 A, and some power modules. Okay, into each of these three, and and it creates you a bunch of hardened hulls. Well, allegedly. I mean, <laughs> it's a bit hit and miss. I need a better design for this. So forget that. Also, this was the uh, hull creation area but that doesn't actually work it doesn't work at all I still need to work on that design I'm probably gonna copy somebody else's as soon as I see them make it work um, what's this one for this one is creating from grass the protein yeah so that's pretty straightforward okay uh, in here hidden away I've got get more light in here I've got uh, Schemadyne Advanced, I think, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, Schemadyne Advanced with a particle press, a mineral separator, and an input. And you have to put in Quantigen, Negagate, four Bobby AIs, and there is actually one more material. That's annoying. I don't know which one. There's one more material that should be in there. That creates your Schemadyne uh, 1000. And you can get different, so because you have to actually. This is the thing: you've got to create the advanced factory blocks using a recipe. This purple one, and this blue one, and there's a couple more. You can't buy them, so you need to learn how to make that. And it's very straightforward. It's just knowing what to put in in the first place. I think that the game could do with a few UI improvements just to sort of simplify this for people, because you know. I found it to be quite complicated, to be honest. So yeah, that's where I'm at so far with the factory. So I'm um, just going to go and sort out the pirates. Look at them. 